Hello everybody, welcome to ClearSail. My name is Adu and I'm here to show you the new client portal today. First things first, I'd like to show you what we have to offer you on the left hand side here, which feature all of our new cool tabs. Here we have the dashboard, the orders tab, the chargebacks tab, and the general report tab. First things first, let's get started with the dashboard tab. Here you can see the information relating to the service level agreement to ensure that we're meeting your needs. In addition, we also have this bar graph to reflect those transactions that we've received and those transactions that we've approved. In addition, we also have percentage-based data relating to those orders that were suspended, canceled, denied, and also confirmed fraud. Also, you'll see here that we have a filter tab, which you'll be able to also filter according to the period that you'd like and for each individual store that you also have. Moving along here, you can also see the information relating to the confirmed chargebacks that we received that show approximately 12 months worth of chargeback data. And we can see how this data fluctuates over the course of time. In addition, we have this bar graph here to reflect the avoided fraud that we've seen here as well in each of these respective months. Moving along, we also have more data directly related to the approval rates, our automatic approval rates, our manual review, and some more information relating about the orders that we've declined, canceled or not approved. You can see on the left-hand side here that we're going to go ahead and open that bar just once more so we can check out the Orders tab. And we can also minimize this tab as well. So you can see here that we have information relating to all of the orders that are currently being analyzed, approved, denied, and canceled. And what's neat about this particular feature is that by clicking each of the bold-faced numbers, you can see the current status relating to each one of those particular metrics. Approved orders here, denied orders here, canceled orders here. And what's also neat is that we can combine certain metrics with analyzing and approved, or analyzing and denied, for example. Again, also with the very neat filter by order ID, filter by the respective store, filter by the respective value, and the date. In addition, if your store has the option to manually send us data relating to orders, you can also do that here. In addition, if you'd like to have an exported report relating to these particular orders listed here, you can also do so here with the export tab. What's also one of our best new features that we have is that we have information relating to the decisions behind each order. We can see all the order details, the customer information, the risk score, which you can see here, and the reasons why a particular order may be suspended or approved. Here you can also see additional address details in addition to the information that is already on the particular order. Should you also have a transaction you wish to cancel, you can go ahead and cancel the order right here. Moving along, we're going to open our new tab here and open the chargeback section, which looks very similar to the order section, as you can see. We have our analyzing, our approved, our denied, and our canceled information right up here. What's also neat is that we do have these filters, same as before, on the order sheet. But we also have more detailed information relating to the chargebacks of each individual order. Now, in addition to those really cool new features, we also have the ability to export this data as well. In addition, we can go ahead and request to file the chargebacks here. Now, these would be all the names of your respective stores. We would select those respective orders here, for example. 
we would submit those necessary files, which I'm not going to do here today just for our purposes, and then submit the additional information relating to the chargeback. But you'll see how easy it is to navigate this page and file those chargebacks. Moving on to the general reports, you can see here that we also have reports that were requested to be extracted relating to the contract, the currency, month, transaction, and the amount. Moving along to the user area, we're going to click on the icon right up here that says WK in our case. We're going to go into the settings. Now, once we're into the settings here, we can manage our profile. If you are the administrator here, you have the accessibility to do so. You have the capability of also changing your password, managing the users under your umbrella, managing the stores, payments, and auto pay, and refunds. Here, you'll be able to manage your payment methods, enable auto pay, check your invoices, manage your refund methods, and check out your refunds. Let's take a look. Here you have your credit card screen where you can indicate which credit card you will be making your payment with, and also your e-payments. Scrolling back down, we're going to check out the auto pay feature in which you'll be able to choose your payment method and you'll be billed on the 21st of each month, which you can enable here. Going back now, we're also going to take a look at the invoices tab. So you can see the status of each invoice, whether it is paid, open, overdue, and you can also export and filter this information. I'm going to head and click on an invoice here so you can see some of the information relating to the invoice. Moving along here, we're going to check out the manage refund methods where you can indicate exactly where you'd like your refunds to be deposited into. And finally, we have the refunds tab where you can also filter by the store status date and export this information. Here you can clearly see whether or not the status has been paid out in reference to the refund or whether it is still open. For our purposes, I'm going to click here and we can see that the status has been paid, approved, and paid out. You'll see within the company structure, you'll be also able to manage your users in this very easy to use hierarchy structure. You can go ahead and navigate each one of your individual users as you see fit. Those who are responsible for finance can handle finance. Those responsible for fraud related issues can handle fraud related issues and the administrator can oversee all. Here in the notifications, you'll see when each one of these files that you've requested to export is ready for download. In addition, you'll also be able to change your language settings. If you're outside of the US and speak Spanish, please feel free to select the Spanish setting. This has been a very detailed breakdown of your ClearSale portal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Should you have any questions for us, please don't hesitate, and we'd love to have your feedback. Take care.